Yami from eLearning Channel Museum. Finally, the Christmas is here. And we have learned four Christmas songs, and this one will be our last Christmas song. The Joy to the World. Very famous Christmas song, and it's sang throughout the world. This song itself is not hard. The problem is the speed. The tempo is pretty fast. So, so it's really hard to play it. If you play it slow, the song, it's not that hard. But the problem is the speed is way too fast. So when I play it, the song, it sounds really hard, right? But it's not. It's just if you play it slow, it's pretty easy. I guess it's easier than the jingle bell. But because of the speed, it really sounds hard and looks hard. Let's see how it goes. If you look at the score, Lots of rhythm combinations. Half note, dotted quarter note, eighth note, and dotted half note, and whole note. There's every notes that we have learned, right? So rhythm is pretty complicated. But it's like older music. This song has also repetition. So once you know the first line, the second line comes easier, and then some of the parts are repeats exactly the same thing. So let's see which part is repeated and which part is brand new for us. Since this song is sharing the melody line from right hand and left hand, we'll just start from the beginning. We're not gonna divide into two hands. If your melody line is on the right hand and if your chord is on the left hand, then we practice separate hands. That's easier to approach. But since this song is one melody line is sharing within the two hands, so we'll start both hands together. That way we know how melody line goes. Now, if you find hand position, right hand starts with the G and comes down to F sharp, E, B, C. And after that, left hand moving on to B, A, G. So it goes from G to all the way down to G. Only the difference is from all this note, F has a sharp. So remember that way, that it will help you to speed up. Yeah, if you look at the right hand first measure, start with the G, half note, right after that, dotted quarter note, and eighth note. Do you remember the rhythm combination we learned the last time from Silent Night? Yes, that one comes one, two, so it comes right after two beat. So just count that way, one, two, and then after that, one, two yes so it goes one two after that the d comes in one two three you can count that way that's easier to count instead of one two three four one two three four so if we go slow one more time from the beginning one two ready go one two and then count it one two First line, one, two, three, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And right hand is E and left hand is G and C. Left hand just comes one step up. So you play it two, three, four, and then right hand step up to G, and left hand is B and G. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So pretty long note, the very last one. And the count is long, right? But if we play it fast, it goes so fast. So that's why it sounds really short, but it's not. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Still, even if you speed up, you have to count all the notes as it is. Okay? Now let's move it on. The same place that where we left, start with the G. G and 
The next one is left hand G and B, and right hand is G again. G, F sharp, B, B. Now the next measure has the same rhythm repetition. One, two, three. Do you see it? Exactly the same rhythm from the silent night. So one, two, three. Yeah, this rhythm comes often, so remember that way. And four, the same thing, one more time, repeats exactly the same whole sentence again. One, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, here, eighth note. Just remember as one, two, your eighth note falling on after two. One, two, three, and then three is coming on your left hand, four. So remember that way. And as you play a slow count rhythm, then it will be easier. And if we move it on to the next one, the very last two measures, one, two, So as you see, some of the rhythm is kind of confusing. But if you remember one, two, one, two, one, two, the dotted quarter after the eighth note, if you remember the rhythm, then it's okay. Except that nothing really confusing, except the melody line is shifting from right hand to the left hand, left hand to the right hand, going back and forth, which is kind of hard to speed up. But, except that if you play it slow, it's okay, right? Now let's play it a little fast. Fine hand position. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, here. One, two. fast that's fine don't worry about it try not to play perfect don't worry about making mistakes just have fun with the song finally we have learned all the five Christmas songs we don't have to play it all five songs if you want it just pick one or two that you really like it and practice and if you have more times then maybe yes you can just take it out the song and practice over and over again until we see next year and i know since this is busiest time of the year christmas at the end of the years and new year's coming too so enjoy your time with your family and with your neighbors and with your friends and happy holiday and i will see you next year 2018 which sounds like so far but i will see you soon and until i see you have fun and blast Christmas and holiday. Bye.